have a decent chance at winning. That's very because, impressive. Yeah, at this at this level of competition, you play enough tag, and you know that you're with somebody that's just as skilled as you are. So you know that he's going to move the way that you think he's going to move, and then when you know that, you can anticipate or you can Three, make your movements two, one. get the go to the perfect way to either cap or. Alright, and I hate to cut you off here, but it looks like we are just starting, and Nub does not seem to be AFK, because he's flying into base now with a Tag Pro fully loaded as Dino falling behind with a Juke Juice. Uh, one thing to note, Gem is, in fact, not playing. Dennett is going to be starting on defense, which is really interesting. Why do you um, think that is? Um, Gem was, has been having really bad internet troubles, so... Um, it doesn't seem like she'll be able to play either tonight. Hopefully not. Hopefully she'll be able to play later in the season. Just not tonight. Be a shame. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look like it's happening tonight. Wait. Anyway, Dennett is doing a pretty decent job. But he, Dino's got him beat now. And Micro, the long-standing veteran defender, finally getting the return. Now we have Nub on re-grab. Dino's picking him up. He's going to re-grab. He's going to go for the power-up now. And unfortunately, it's a tag pro. It doesn't really help the flag carrying too much. Let's see if Micro can use this tag pro to help the team Ooh. get out of... Oh, never mind. He wanted to get the, the uh, return on Dino first. Right, and that was a pretty risky play by Dino to try and force that. There really wasn't much wiggle room. And maybe Honestly, that might work in a pub. I think that the strategy that Dino was thinking was, hey, even if I die, I'm getting rid of their tag pro, and I can respawn with the tag pro in our base, so I can get help get rid of people and make the, the chain cap easier. I think that was a smart, a smart play by Dino. Anyway, here comes Nub now, and unfortunately the blocks were going to pull off, and this has just been a constant regrab train for two minutes. You know, pretty decent start here by the Rectiles. Yeah, that's what happens when you get a tag pro. Whoa! Beautiful boost by Dino. He's coming in. He's got to figure out a way to get past two. And Micro swoops in, cutting him off. They're looking for power-ups. Dino's got a flag pro. Looks like Nub's going to get that rolling bomb re. Dino's going to want to push this now. Good. Good for Dino. That's so Dino's going to spawn. A very good opportunity. This can easily be a cap for the Reptiles. Wow, and here comes Nub coming in, and this absolutely will be a cap. Good oh, teamwork and coordination. Play. Yeah, in the end, the power-up's just too strong for the Reptiles. Quick one nothing lead. Nub All smartly waiting seconds. for his partner. And not allowing any prevent for the defense. Alright, finally got flags back in base. Seven minutes to play here. Knob Lord picks up the flag and he's free. Gets tackled by Fat. Rectiles trying to go for power ups. But. Ghost Boosters have a tag pro on the base now. Wow. Oh, I thought he was going to get out of there at the bottom. Nice play by Fez to stick with him. It juju's almost Dino in what he needed. a great move, Pat Stu, but he can't get past Dennett. Yeah, Dennett the fill-in. Dennett is a solid player who's had a lot of experience in competitive. He should be able to fit in just fine. And here comes no board. I think this is going to be a cap. Really well. Yeah, they got a great job on him. Good job by Dennett and TPR. Keeping Dino out of the way. Clearing the way for the flag carrier to tie it up. 1-1. One, one. Power of Sargon once again spawning soon. Looks like Rectiles. Oh, Ooh, what a squeeze by Noblord! And unfortunately, <laughs> good job by Fat and Fez sticking with him. But it was pretty nice impressive nonetheless. Looks like uh, Rectiles are going to get another grab here. I think they'll be out. Depends if Dino can use this tag pro effectively. I think so. Yeah, they have a nice escort here. Nub, it looks like he's going to go. Ah, uh, Dennis cut him off. Out. 
And oh, wow. What Nova's doing there? TPR now with the flag. Returned by Fat. Fat. Excellent move. Dino, just waiting. Trying no avail. These two, two teams have had a pretty phenomenal season thus far. You guys are both yeah. tied for second place in uh, the was it Atlantic Division or in east of the east uh, Eastern the, Conference. Well, it's the Eastern Conference. We're in the Atlantic Division. The Ghost Boosters are in the Northeast. Great job there by Fat and Fez, forcing them into the wall and picking up a pretty easy return. And Tag Pro for defense should play very well. No hope there for TPR. And this Not has just Lord. been a really solid defensive effort. Not Lord. Oh my gosh. If Nobler finds a way out of here, he's bobbing and weaving through three guys. He's almost got Wall B. Unbelievable. But finally, at the top right corner, finally taken down by his chasers. Really amazing moves there by Nobler. Juking and weaving. Yeah, it was almost impossible for that to end up in a cap. And that was another good opportunity there. And there's, here comes a re-grab train running for the Rectiles this time. Going the other way around. Nobbler trying to make a decision. There are no good ones when he finds a way. Slips underneath that. Wow, what a great find of a power-up. Rolling Bomb could not be any better. And they got Dino down. I don't think he's going to find a way out. Unfortunately, it does not result in a cap. Had Dino not boosted in, I think that would have been a cap for Ghost Boosters. Nice heads up play by Dino. TPR waiting for another offensive player to come in so we can maximize that tag pro. And good job by Fez to stay out of the way. I think they're going to be able to guide him out, and they will. Nobler is free. And now it's up to Fat and Dino. Oh, tag pros out. Time for the reptiles to collapse. That was a really good boost by Fez up top. And here comes Nobler, and Fat takes him down. Two minutes and 50 seconds of play left in this half. TPR. Going from four to three. Nub sitting on the button. Dino closing in. Options are running out for TPR as he's forced to backtrack as he's got three red balls in his face. And finally slides into the red wall. Now Nob Lord. Wow. Sorry, really I'm aggressive not. play here by Nob. I think TPR will pick this up. TPR fully flag pro, stock loaded. He's gonna have to find a way in the base. He's got one. Can he get above that? Underneath him. Very close. A lot of close calls here for the reptiles. Nobler now trying to get past Dino. Doesn't quite do it. Looks like that's gonna be a reptiles reset finally if they can just get this return on micro. And they should be able to. Dino showing that he's still got it on defense back in the old days. <laughs> Interesting move here for the Rectiles. They left Fez all alone, and Noblord got an easy grab out. Noblord's free too. He's got the blockers, and he's going to find his way on the flag. And oh, no, it was stolen by Nub at the last second. Great heads-up play by Nub. Let's see if they're going to be able to capitalize here. It looks very close, and it's not going to happen. Nub absolutely say, saving the day there. Or the second half of this half. Uh, Ghost Booster defense has been really solid. I don't think they've let the flag out of base. No, and that's a huge testament to Micro with his 3 minutes and 14 seconds to hold. Here comes TPR. And Fat with another return. And the regrab train continues for the Ghost Boosters. Doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. Dino's yeah. looking to grab here. Expert rolling bomb. Dino really doesn't have much options to work with. 
I think the important thing was just getting the flag out of base. Right. Because now they have the now they have a both both train situation. And it looks like it's probably going to end here. Uh, Ghost boosters with a full extra minute of hold time over to Reptiles. But again, the most important point on the board, or the number rather, is the score. And that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Oh, TPR denying no of that held flag with his rolling bomb. And just look at micro stats across the board. 11 returns, three and a half minutes of prevent, 27 support. Solid defensive effort after they let up that first scab by the Ghost Boosters. Yeah, and Fat really wasn't that much behind him as far as defensive stats. You could tell the momentum of the match really shifted. It was all reptiles in the beginning, and then it shifted over to the Ghost Boosters at the end. So we'll see how they can continue that in the second half. So the first half score, guys, was 1-1. It is a tie match. All right, it looks like we're going to keep the lineups the exact same going into half two. Yeah, I don't expect any changes from the Rectile lineup. They usually never do unless somebody can't make it. The biggest key here to winning this second half, uh, in my estimation, Ash, is going to be the power-up struggle. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins the power-up battle is probably going to win half two. I'm going to have to agree with you there. Both caps were well-assisted by power-ups. More so the Rectile's cap, but... The Ghost Pushers cap also had uh, power control and team coordination to get them that tie and cap. We'll see if uh, somebody can get a quick, uh, quick first cap after the power battle from mid. Especially if it's a tag. Only a juke juice, but the Ghost Pushers have a tag for the start. See if they take it offense or defense. I um, mean, if you have a starting tag pro, almost exclusively I take it on offense, except for Koala. Yeah, I would have to agree to take that offense. And it looks like they will do so. Yeah, but unfortunately, they did lose the power of battle, and I can't tell you what's stronger. Early grab. That can prove fatal. Yeah, that's really dangerous, especially when you got two Juke Juice offensive players, and here comes Dino closing it from behind. Excellent boost, though. Yeah, that was a nice little teammate assist there. Mm -hmm. Nub does not look like he's in a really good position here. <laughs> nice save by Fat. Nub past three. Wow, yeah. and Nub is going to fall in! Oh my gosh. Some mesmerizing jukes there. Hero ballers there. Nub had some great jukes. Oh no, but Nobbler's pass. This could be a counter cap. I think Dino's in strong position. He is. Great job by Dino for slowing out that offensive return. Dino's offensive D is always impeccable. <laughs> Looks like they're going to look for power ups here. Oh no, unbelievable. This is unbelievable. How did they make that mistake? It doesn't matter. Nub cleans it up. Yeah, but now Ghost Boosters have double tag, bro. And they're looking for a third. Dino thankfully picks it up. He should sit on flag. All right. Two tag pros are now... Oh, wait. Three tag pros, rather. The whole tag pros here for the Ghost Boosters. Yeah, Not Dino anymore. smartly playing uh, defense with that tag pro. 2v1. They don't want to lose a cap there. Eight minutes and 19 seconds to go here. Knoblord with a fatal flaccid. 
TPR looks to make the same mistakes. Great defense here by Fez and Dino. Really looks like Knoblord's being the aggressor of this game, as opposed to the usual TPR. And now Fat looks like he's going to be free bottom underneath Dennett, right above Micro, the legendary defensive player. And here comes Fat. He's got one to beat, and he goes right over. Oh, no yeah. cap! No cap for Fat! What happened? TPR happened. That was a really good attempt by Fez to block, but... Strong oh, opportunity fair. here. Coming in. And he's waiting for the return. Oh, it's... The oh, no! It's not going to happen. Should have went for the kiss there. That's two very that close point. opportunities. Rectiles definitely need another to start putting the seal on this game. I don't know if anyone there. saw that at the bottom corner, but Dino doing a beautiful job dispatching Micro. Yeah. Really solid jukes. You gotta remember this kiss, carry kiss. here. I would kiss if I was Dino. No I way. Actually, no. Not no even, way. Not with anti. <laughs> Plus, Dino can stay alive. Dino is doing a phenomenal carry here. Power ups and oh, oh. oh. had that gone the other way. What a nice find for Nub. Rolling bomb buys him just enough space to get out of here, and he picks That's up the boost. Crazy. TPR is absolutely safe though at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too much time to kill, too much space. Nice juke. By oh, the TPR wall. is free. Gone. Nub is using these walls exceptionally well. Yeah, you would think like you guys almost practiced it or something. <laughs> Ah, uh, Nub yeah, just needs his return. Oh, but Nub Lord sneaks out past Fat. Fez. I think. Oh, is that Fez? Yeah. Yeah, Fez is green. And that wasn't... Sorry, I'm zoomed out real far. <laughs> That's alright. That wasn't Fez's finest moment anyway. I'm Fez sure he would... Worse. He'd love to let Fat take the fall for that. Anyway, Fat though. Doing a beautiful job winning this power-up battle. He's ah. gotta do something with that though. Yeah, he's... gets past. He's gonna grab a juke juice. Nope. Oh, no. Gets caught. Fat doubling down the power ups. He's got the juke juice. He's got the tag pro. Micro. With the tag pro escort. Fat with juke juice. Can he get by him? He needs to penetrate the D and he misses. Oh, real close. But Fezzo no. cleaning up from behind. Five minutes and 14 seconds oh. to go. Dino almost killed in base, and he is killed at two. This is a chance for the Ghost Wishers if they can get a return, but some excellent blocks by Fat and Nub give Fez the easy out. And now it's the other way. If Dino can get a return here. They do. Ragtile's looking for a reset, and they got it. But they have a Ghost Wishers tag to contend with. And as uh, you can see in the chat, uh, Time Boy brings up a great point. This map has been pretty chasey thus far. I mean, we're only three... What is it? There's ten minutes in a match. We're five and a half minutes in. And there's been three and a half minutes of hold time. It's for both the teams. Offenses, the offenses, both offenses have put out some spectacular jukes. It's incredible. The level that these guys are playing at. Yeah, I think that's... These defenses are definitely solid. Oh, absolutely. And it's more of a testament to the offense than uh, mm -hmm. faults of the I map. No. Can you find a way out of this one? Micro and Dennett closing in. Dennett looks like he has a nice boost lined up. I can't believe he missed that. Nub right over Nub Lord. And Nub is still alive! With Nub plenty of space to maneuver. Nub and can get it. This is a reptile's reset. Oh, no! Oh, and this yes. should be it. Here comes Dino. Nub, it's two blocks. blocks. And Nub Lord is just too late to the party as Dino puts another cap on the board. Here comes Fat with another opportunity here. He's going to have to find a way to squeeze his fat ass in. Can he do it? He can't. <laughs> <laughs> Nub's got a rolling ball though. No. This could be a great opportunity. If they can keep the flag in base. I don't think they can. And oh. he's clear. Fat. 
Fez, you need to make this play. Great job by TPR. Bought I just enough time. Turn. Three minutes to go just now. Out again. They need to keep micro contained here. This is going to be really poor because Fat has three beat. And. If Nub can. No, it's only three. He's got the blocks and Fat! What a block by Dino! And the reptiles are coming away with this one. You're really starting to see that vet, those veteran instincts kicking in. Yeah, what a clutch play by Dino. Last second, making the play. Helping the his whole, teammate. The whole play itself, just forcing the uh, Ghost Pusher to offense further and further back into base and eventually getting the reset. Um, little things like that that you don't see. That's what that's what separates veteran players from their counterparts. And as we see here, the, go, the Rectiles win yet another power-up battle. They have two Jujuses, one waiting on Re. Dino, meanwhile, ugh. Dino trying to do it all. Wow, Dead it just got schooled there by Nub. And Nub is coming in quick and hot. Micro in beautiful position, but now it's a two v one. Another Rectiles cap. This has to be. I think he'll be able to find a way in. Dennett is going to be a little too blocks. late. He's taking a long route around. Five to one for the reptiles. And things are slowly unraveling here for the Ghost Boosters. TPR finally gets them out of base again. Whoa. Oh. oh my gosh, that was pretty dangerous. <laughs> Micro playing great defense right now. Oh, wow. Nub. Here oh, goes Nub. He's going to go right above Nob Lord. I think he has him beat on the inside track. We'll see what he does. And Micro. Micro. Play Caravan, but failing. I don't know. He's doing a really good job with that tag pro. Nub keeps slipping past, though. No, 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 he can't. He's playing really well. It's very hard to cap with three enemy guys in your base and zero blockers. But Rectile's making all the right plays, and Ghost is just making all the wrong ones. Again, the easy Another block, cap. the long walk around. Great patience by Nub, and excellent plays by the defense. And that's pretty much how they've had all their caps. It's just, you know, to get a double block and the one man mm -hmm. last standing, an easy wrap around. You can tell how patient the defense of the Reptiles is. Not overcommitting, forcing their opponents in awkward positions, and just playing solid contained defense. Look at that. And Dino's going to hold this one out with seven seconds to play. Oh, Dino's thirsty for the cap. This is not going to get it. He'll settle for the health flag, and the Reptiles win. Six to one. And Nub leading the way with three caps and an astonishing four and a half minutes of hold time. Really well done by the reptiles in that half. And the reptiles win game one. All right, and now we're going to get ready for game two, which is going to take us to everyone's favorite map, Star. 